Yo, did you hear? Kobe got his fifth ring. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Wait, wait, wait. How many does LeBron have again? No, he doesn't have one. He has zero. Yo, so did you see what my boy LeBron just did? Yeah, he lost more hair, right? You mean finals MVP, son? Damn, son, LeBron lost in the finals again. Oh, okay, so why don't you just ride that Warriors bandwagon into a bus? Yeah, bus and the Lakers do have a lot of championships. Yo, I wonder where LeBron's gonna go, man. That Cavs team is totally done. Bro, I just want my Lakers to be relevant again. Basketball best friends. Yo, it's your boy Gio. My dog Cliff. Yes, sir. So, um, we just gotta talk about this crazy free agency that happened the last few days. Who would have expected LeBron to sign with LA for real? I mean, there was a lot of rumors going around. He might have gone to the 76ers. Um, you know, he, he could have been a, a Houston Rocket, he could have been a Laker. But no one really thought out of all those teams he, he was going to be on the Lakers unless somebody, actual, some other big superstar went on the Lakers. Nobody went on the Lakers. He was the first to jump. So yeah, I, I was shocked. I thought for sure Paul George would have jumped ship first. Yeah. Would have went to LA first. And then I thought LeBron would have came or the Lakers would have traded for Kawhi and LeBron would have came. Yeah. I, th I thought he was just waiting on something. There was even a, a report on, uh, I think it was... A complex or even bleach report saying oh he's gonna make his decision next Tuesday and that was a few days ago and then he literally the same day says yo I'm joining the the, the, the Lakers for four years it's, it's crazy yeah man I didn't think he'd go to a rebuilding team right now without another player but I think he had to talk with Magic Johnson and talked about like these are all his plans to retool the Lakers and this is what he has in plan to get Kawhi and this is also other plans that he has on top of the fact that he wants to be in LA, he has a house in LA, his son goes to school in LA, and he also also has a film production company that I think if he's in LA, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, LA is, the, is just like New York when it comes to just the grandest stage of, of, star, of, of stardom. I mean, Cleveland, he put Cleveland on the map, but there's nothing like California or New York or Chicago, like those places that will catapult you because there's just so many business ties, there's so many markets there, those are the big markets, so, or even Miami, Miami, you know, he blew up there too, but just being in LA, maybe to close out his career there, um, even if he doesn't win another title, he's he's pretty much set himself up for, for another future beyond basketball, and I mean, hey, kudos to him, I mean, he, he jumped ship, but, that wasn't, to me, that wasn't the biggest splash in free agency. It was DeMarcus Cousins signing with the Warriors a day after LeBron signed with the Lakers. Yeah, I mean, I definitely, like, I felt real happy to see, like, LeBron go to the Lakers from the standpoint. It's going to change the NBA landscape. It's, it's definitely going to change a whole bunch of things. And I think if Kawhi can come over, it's going to change this power dynamic, which I like a lot. You know, there's going to be a new team in the East, obviously. And then you got the fact that, you know, the the West has got even more competitive with LeBron in there. But, um, yeah, I think it kind of could potentially might ruin the NBA for a moment. But, you know, this is Boogie. It's a one-year prove-it contract that his injury is not going to slow him down too much. So he can go from $5 million to back up to worth $25 plus $1 yeah. million a year. But uh, the fact that he might even get a ring out of it is, is pretty crazy yeah. to think. But just, just to think, this is the first team, the Warriors, that has – three players on the starting lineup that averaged 25 points a game. Yeah. That's ridiculous. And, and he's going to be five all stars. For all five all stars. You have a starting five of all five all stars. That that's that's mind boggling, but hey, um, I think this will I think you're right just to piggyback off what you said. This is going to change the NBA. I know for a fact. I don't know when. It could be maybe next year, the following few years. I know they're going to try to get a plan. I really think this will change the uh, playoff bracket. I think this will be more of an open bracket now instead of having, you know, all the dominant teams in the West now. It's going to be an open 16th seed. And that's what I've been wanting for a long time. It'll spread out the the power no matter 
how many powerhouses are in the West or in the East, it all doesn't matter if you have an open seating. But I'm just, I'm just surprised, man. What other surprises do we got? I don't know. Y'all have to stay in tune. We have to stay in tune. But thank y'all. Like, share, subscribe. My boy Cliff, Geo. Peace. Yo, it's your boy. <laughs> I was about to say, yo, it's your boy YouTube. I am YouTube.